A large amount of unidentified smoke has suddenly risen from the street. A large number of inhalers have already died on the spot. And the smoke has swept through the city. Has swept through the whole city? What's even more frightening? The poisonous gas is rising at a rate of 5 centimeters per hour. It seems that the roof of this building will soon be flooded. They decided to go to their daughter's friend's house. The smoke won't get up there for a while. Their daughter is still in the containment chamber. They have to find a suit for her. The wife knows it's only available in the lab. The two of them grab their oxygen tanks and headed out. Just as they hit the streets, they were confronted by a vicious dog. What's going on? Why is the dog okay? But the dog was hostile to them. They tried to run away. In the panic, the man fell into the river. The man desperately climbed back to the shore. Because he was soaking wet, he changed into a passerby's clothes. Soon after, the two were reunited. They went to a biology lab together. They found a protective suit. Just as they were leaving, there was an explosion. But the situation was not good, because the flames had burned through the men's oxygen tubes. Now they have to share a single oxygen tank. They drag the box to the top floor. But there's not much oxygen left in the tank. There's not enough oxygen left for both of them to make it back. The man can only ask his wife to leave first. He'll find a way to join them, because there is still a young daughter at home. The wife had no choice but to leave first. She didn't dare delay a moment. She dragged her suitcase along the street. But when she got to the door, she ran out of oxygen. She took off her heavy oxygen tank. She dragged the case and climbed up. But at the last minute, she made it back to the roof. When she opened the case, but found that the spacesuit in the case had been burned in the explosion, the woman was devastated. And now there's a bigger problem. The batteries in her daughter's isolation chamber downstairs are almost dead. But what can we do now? Without oxygen tanks, I'm sure I'll die down there. But for the sake of her beloved daughter, she went downstairs. When she got home, she immediately replaced the batteries in the isolation chamber. But on the way back, she couldn't hold it in any longer. On the other side, a man is climbing on the roof. He came to a rooftop. He sees a long pool of blood on the ground. He walks carefully to the house. He sees some supplies and an oxygen tank. The man carried the oxygen tank directly on his back, but the owner of the house found him. In order to survive, he dragged the man into the poisonous gas. Soon the man died of gas inhalation, although he survived the fight, but he never thought that when he returned, he would meet his dead wife. The man puts on an oxygen mask and comes downstairs. He tells his daughter to wait for herself, and upstairs the old couple is already in bed. The poisonous gas has gone through the window. They accept their deaths peacefully. On the other side, the man finally found a protective suit on the fire truck. The man wanted to go back as soon as possible. He found a battery operated car. He rushes back frantically. Suddenly, a boy appeared in front of him. The man tries to avoid it. He was seriously injured. When the man woke up, he picked up the walkie-talkie and called out to his daughter. He told her to wait for him, but King never heard a response from his daughter. The man was dragging his suit with him as he tried his best to walk. But eventually, he collapsed on the ground due to exhaustion. Suddenly, he saw the figures in front of him. It was his daughter and her friend. It's strange. How come the daughter is okay? How come the daughter's friend is okay too? In the end, the man was admitted to the isolation chamber. The daughter becomes his caretaker. That's the end of the movie. See you next time.